What's up Thryers? Ascended One here. Today I got a great video. This is one I've been meaning to do for a long time and I actually got reminded from a subscriber I was giving a dragon to. We actually got into a conversation about how to level up your dragon and that reminded me I've been wanting to do this video for a long time. There is definitely a lot you want to consider and this is definitely information that I haven't seen anywhere. Just so you guys know I've raised over 300 dragons. I've lost some dragons and I've really gotten a a good feel about how to do this pr pr properly because a lot of people would say that you need to consider the type of dragon but I would say the main factor is the environment and, and on arc there are two main environments the one being the island in center both sharing the same dinos and the other one being scorched earth a completely different environment so I level up my dragons for each environment so right here we are going to be covering the island in scorched dragons or the island in center dragons and then moving over to a scorch so I would say as a base rule for the island or center is definitely 10,000 health with 1500 stamina and the rest of the points on melee now uh, you can definitely play around so our first dragon here has 10,000 HP 1700 stamina and 451 melee and this and this dragon is an absolute beast there is there are tons of points left to put onto it so i would probably get this one up to about 2000 stamina and it's probably going to get close to 500 me melee an absolute complete monster so let's move on to our next dragon our next one is going to be a lightning dr dr dragon um these are very important for the island in center because of the gigas and titans so this so this one is going to have 10,000 HP, 2,000 stamina, sorry, 10,000 HP, 2,000 stamina, and 425 melee. Now this thing has a, a ton of points left in, in, into it, and considering that it is a lightning, and these are the ones that, that you are going, going to be using to kill the, the gigas and titans you need more stamina so i'll probably try and get this thing closer to 3000 because those lightning blasts drain the stamina and it's really the only way to kill the gigas at a distance if you don't want to take take the long time with, with the poison drag as most of you guys already know all of all of our old dragons got nerfed and this one is a clear example this one having 9,000 HP, only 635 stam, but 490 melee. Now, uh, before the nerf, this thing actually had close to close to 2,000 stamina, but uh, this dragon was kind of a tester. We wanted to see how much melee we could actually get, so this thing is almost at 600. It's a lot of fun, but still, I'm really hating that there is no stamina, so unfortunately, I'm gonna have to be putting every single point that is left into stamina so right here why don't we take a look at this poison dr dr dragon here once again we got the 10,000 health it's got 1400 stamina with 500 melee now uh, th this poison ha had a very high melee hatch so uh, we are going to be focusing on the melee on this one but still we need the stamina because it is so brutal I think you need about 1500 stamina to fly across between each side of the map maybe you need a little bit more so 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 the stamina is going to be a huge focus here so right here we have a fresh 185 with uh, fresh 185 with a micro roll back there of course thank you arc and this thing has like 40 something points 51 points ready uh, to be put on, on to it so right here we are going to focus on the 10,000 health we're gonna level level up that, try and get that 1500 stam, put a bunch into melee, and then you kind of, and then you kind of want to reassess and really play around with it. I say 1500 stamina as a base. I'm telling you guys, 2000 stamina, you that is not gonna be a wasted point, and you are gonna feel the benefits from that right away. So right here, let's bump that up to 1500 stam. See what we got left here. And why don't we just put a little bit more? All right, never mind. Let's go down to the melee. That's right. Let's jack that up. Bam. So there we got a little fresh level there. That thing's only got like 55,000 experience. There's tons of points left. Um, this one is going to be a great starter. That thing was a 185 fire hatch. So it's a very strong dragon. All right, so let's move over to Scorch. 
All right, so this is going to be a completely different setup. We are going to be aiming for a base health here of 20,000 health. Once again, 1,500 stam and in the, in the rest of the points on melee. But once again, guys, I would always consider putting up your stamina, especially on Scorched Earth. Those Wyverns are brutal, and I've seen so many people lose their Wyvern, not because of the health, not because of the melee, it's because they ran out of stamina. So I would definitely see, definitely say the most important things to remember on Scorched Earth are the health and stamina, and you guys need the health because those Wyverns are brutal. They take tons of bites out of you, and they will drain the health super fast. So you definitely, 20,000 health, 1,500 stamina, but I'd go 2,000 with the with the rest of the points on melee so this first dragon has to be one of our best dragons big shout out to solar flare getting the job done since 06 now 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 this is definitely a pre nerf dragon so the stamina now we have been leveling it up so it is close to a thousand but this thing has 23.5k hp with 472 me melee that thing is an alpha killer a complete destroyer now uh, here is a fresher one at 17.5k HP, 1400 stamina with 378 melee. It's definitely not as good as the first one, but it will definitely get the job done. Still notice almost 20k HP, almost 1500 stam. Now uh, our next one here is also a pre-nerf at 21k HP, 900 stam and 470 melee. This one is definitely considered an alpha killer because let's face it when you are raising dragons it is so much better to get 50 milk instead of five now guys instead of doing all this talking about numbers this and that why don't i show you guys why we need all that hp so right here in one shot from the video let's take a dip into the scar in real time and, and take a look for some wyvern eggs and this is why we need all the hp it's not for the scorpions it's not for the mantises it is for the wyverns because they are absolutely brutal so right here i fly right to the nest i know where all the eggs are if you guys want to see a video on all the s all the all the nest locations make sure to check that out also if you want to find high level wyvern eggs i got the video too so right here i grab the eggs and all those dragons just aggro on you like crazy and and uh since the flying nerf you are a lot slower and uh, you are definitely going to take some some damage. So uh, when you grab an egg, you definitely want to try and outrun the wyverns before you get to the next nest. But uh, a little easier said than done here. But don't worry, we got plans, we got tricks. So right here, I'm just going to fly up to my wyvern trap. No problem. I'm going to get these things isolated and then get down to work. So no problem. Just pull the old swippity swip. Get behind the cage, wait for a couple seconds here, let them bag themselves. If you guys want to see a video on the dragon trap, I got that one for you as well, guys. I'm trying to get you guys to be the best egg hunters and wyvern killers as possible. So guys, always when you get them trapped, make sure that you wait until they lose aggro so you can fly in there and get the first bites off be before they even see what's coming. And this is why we need a lot of HP as well because because even though they are trapped, they are still going to try and attack you and you are going to take some damage. In these spots right here specifically, I would definitely recommend a lightning dragon because you can hit them from um, a distance. But uh, a fire dragon is still no problem to, to, get, to get the job done now. Now, uh, when you are farming four eggs and using a technique like like the one we are seeing here, this is super great for grabbing the talons, for spawning in the mana core boss, for farming the the element. If you guys want to see a video on farming on farming the mana core boss, check that out. I got a lot of videos you guys should check out. You might as well just subscribe now. We got lots of stuff. We're uploading content all the time. All right. So once again, you are going to be getting tons of Wyvern Talons. You are also going to, to be getting a ton of XP, and this is perfect. All right, so now that the scar is kind of clear, why don't we jump back in and take a look for those empty NNNS, because we finally got the fuzz off our tail. So we're going to dip right in. Weird, it seems to be a little bit more empty than usual. <laughs> so right here, 
when you are clearing this guard, the first couple eggs are the hardest because there's always a lot more dragons. But once you clear the scar, wait 20 minutes or 15 minutes to grab more eggs. There will only be spawning about five or six or eight, maybe tops, eight dragons at a time. So you really only have to clear the scar once. So right there is just one dragon. Let's go down and pick up an egg because let's face it, we are always on the hunt for awesome eggs. 180 poison. Guys, I couldn't have planned that any better. Thanks for making me come in the scar and shoot a video. I always love 190 eggs of all kind. All right, so once again, as soon as you grab an egg, you got the wyverns on you. Now this is why you definitely need all that HP. Now uh, I'm gonna do a trick that I don't really recommend. As you can see in the scar, there are, there are, are walls. You definitely want to try and use those to your advantage. I'm gonna try and hop in the nest and get all of those uh, dragons caught up on the wall. Definitely a risky move, but uh, you know I got a good feel for it. Let's give it a shot. As soon as you see the that the the, the, the course is clear just grab and go all right so let's pretend that we don't have an awesome trap that that we can bring our our, our dragons to and we got to clear the scar the old-fashioned way so um normally i would definitely promote guys always wearing a gas mask but let's pretend we don't have one here and we got to fight this poison so right here, you're definitely going to want to be careful. Now, I'm a little bit sloppy here, I'm not gonna lie, but I got 500 HP on my character. It's only a level 20 poison. I can take it, we're all good. So right here, we're gonna wanna take out the poison and we got two fire dragons on the way. And this is really one of the worst case scenarios. Let's just imagine that you ran out of stamina. Guys, what you wanna do is, if you have over half of your health back, your stamina will come back pretty fast. Just land on the sand, regen your stam, and fly out of there fast. But, but if you can't, you need to you need to have that HP so you can tank the shots and take out these dragons. So right here, now that this thing has DA growth, we're gonna take our time, make sure to get back that stam, and go back in there and get the rest of those eggs. Now, I could just talk on and on about this, but I think I have gone over the main points. I really hope you guys learned something here. It has taken me months and months to really figure all this out and put it together. I really can't see Ragnarok being any different because it is gonna be a combination of Scorch and Center and the island all thrown into one. So as long as you have dragons for each kind of setting, you are gonna be doing a lot better. Just know that I love you guys. I'm trying to make you guys the best, the best the drivers ever we got videos coming out all the time make sure to su subscribe to the channel hit that thumbs up button we're having fun chris are you having fun lots of fun lots of fun and as always guys don't survive but thrive